we're getting closer to the point where it would be difficult for the Trump administration not to take some sort of action that goes beyond uh, what's been taking place in terms of the standard diplomatic discussions, the attempts to get North Korea to the table, the attempts to get them to renounce their pursuit of nuclear weapons and their pursuit of ICBMs. The problem is there's not a great deal of room to maneuver here. My worry is that almost every option you look at leads to war. If you start looking at limited airstrikes against North Korean nuclear or ICBM facilities, there's no doubt in my mind the North Koreans will retaliate, and most catastrophically, if the North Koreans start to retaliate against the South Koreans. You could see a situation where these limited strikes end up with the North Koreans launching a, even a partial attack on the South Koreans could put tens of millions of Koreans in danger and cause hundreds of thousands of casualties. The, the problem is you have to find a way to put more pressure on the North Koreans without going towards a path that leads to war. I think the only way to do this is to bring the Chinese, most importantly, and the Russians uh, next in line uh, into the arena where they are working with you to put pressure on the Koreans. It was a surprise in that we didn't have uh, tactical reconnaissance indicating that it was imminent, but it's not a surprise because we've been predicting for years that North Korea was, would eventually develop an ICBM capability. Uh, and in fact, earlier this year, North Korea said it would uh, test an ICBM by the end of the year. Uh, and then in my own meetings with North Korean officials in Europe last month, they indicated that they were in the late stages of preparation. Uh, for an ICBM test, and also I think it's very likely they'll do a, a, another or a sixth nuclear test. Uh, it, it certainly brings the North Korean threat to the forefront, uh, not only in his upcoming meetings with, with officials, particularly the Chinese president, who had promised Trump that he would do more to confront the North Korean threat, uh, and as always, China has underperformed. Uh, but it's also really calling, it leads to what has been a small but growing advocacy by some in Washington and Seoul uh, for a preventative military strike, uh, as different from a preemptive strike where you feel your opponent is about to attack you and therefore you have to preempt it. A uh, preventative strike is you would attack a North Korean missile in mid-flight or on the launch stand or a mobile launcher or more extensively taking out their missile production facilities in order to prevent them from completing development of the ICBM. That's a very dangerous policy and could lead to even an all-out war on the peninsula.